So far we've been using the note command to output information to the user. In the next few videos we're going to explore some different ways to output information and get some input from the user back. As we've already seen, note is just going to output to note and you have to click anywhere on the screen for that note to go away unless you pass on a time like a second or half a second. Now let's look at note bar. Well, note bar is basically this little bar that shows up here and when you over a button it gives you the odd key and the name and some information right there. So here I have scripted button that's my note and it shows up in there. Right? So we can achieve that by using pop-up text. We've seen this in the past so now if I reload and I hover my button it says hello up there in the note bar here. Okay? Now if I press it I'm saying write this down in the note bar. So if I press it, there you go, hello world. You could use the note bar to do something like this. Z script is calculating, please wait. So when you press it, Z script is calculating, please wait. And you can also clear a note by using an empty string. So now if I reload, I press output note, Z script is calculating, please wait. When I press done, it, we clear that string. Now the note bar has a special argument which is optional progress bar value and you can create progress bars using this and it takes a 0 to 1 value so if I say 0 0.5 and I save this reload and I press that you can see there's a note bar using half the, half the width of the ZBrush window if I say 1 it will give me a full progress bar right there. So let's say your script consists of a, a few button presses and I'm just pressing the tool sub tool select down button four times here just as an example let's say you have four button presses in your script now you can use this to create a bar like this something like this so you start with the note bar saying this script is calculating you select down then you go to 25 percent you press some other button then you go to 50, press some other button, go to 75, other button, and go to 1. Z, Z script finished calculating. Now, this is because I'm only selecting down, this is probably going to be so fast that you won't even see the progress bar, but let's check it out. This would probably work better if each one of my button presses actually takes a while to, to execute. Uh, but for, for this example, I'm going to use a special command called delay. <clears throat> and this will delay the script by uh, a past time. So if I say delay and I give it a time of 0.1, which is should be 100 milliseconds, and then I'll do the same for the other ones. Now we should actually see our bar move. There we go. So I've done another little example here. And so I'm outputting a note bar saying that the script is calculating to start the calculation. And then I'm looping a hundred times. I'm doing a hundred time loop here. And I'm grabbing that variable from the loop. And here I'm doing my operation, my press operation. Then I'm coming to the note bar and I'm saying that this loop count multiplied, and I'm using the asterisk key to, to use multiplication here, multiplied by 0 0.01 because this is a 0 to 1 value and this is a 100 time loop so multiplied by 0, 0, 001 that will give me a 0 to 100 value and then when the loop is finished Z script finish calculating give me 1 for a full bar and what this is going to do if you look at up there so it starts calculating in every 100 milliseconds it gives me a new value and the, the bar keeps growing so I think you kind of get the picture how this works and how you can do some um, progress bars for your scripts